I was born at the wrong time, at the wrong place, at the wrong age, at the wrong country. When I was nine years old, Germany invaded Poland. Thus, my life was forever changed. I was incarcerated in 10 concentration camps. They beat me, they beat me almost to death. A million and a half children were murdered. A million and a half. The soldiers came and we literally crawled in the door. They are arms. These men came and saved us. They saved us. Don't give up your education. Stick with it. You have got so much to live for. You're going to be our diplomats. You're going to be our leaders. You know, it reaches me, you know? Steve was different. He was passionate. He was motivating, and so you got the sense that this guy really cares. Steve Ross showed up, you know, and uh, he was the greatest resource that, that ever entered my life. I came uh, to this country with a dream in my heart to build a memorial. Steve came to me one day and he says it would be great to have a, a Holocaust memorial. It is vital to have a memorial to tell the world of all the atrocities, and hopefully the memorial will make a difference in this world. Steve was the power that was unleashed to make this uh, memorial seem absolutely essential. Steve was the right person at the right time for that purpose. And he spoke with such passion and conviction about the need for this memorial. Kids and classes are brought through there all the time for educational purposes. I have searched for this angel for many years without success. So this moment was, you know, something he talked about his entire life. May he be blessed by God for his good deed to a young boy during the tragic war years in hell. And he spoke of that moment with just such passion and how it changed his life. And I said, this man has to know. If this really is my grandfather, he's been searching for 67 years. He needs to be able to rest on this. I want you all to know that it is the greatest time in my life. God bless our America the greatest land of all.